the hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see Daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me when Daddy folded me up. I like the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mummy? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Um, yeah. Whoa! Oh, don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds, looking for their pajamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. There was a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet Come with on. strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my Daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. Daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Wee! And then one day, Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my Daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Right. I'll tell you the funny story about what happened. Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in the hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. Silly Daddy hadn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. It's only a toy spider. <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my Daddy. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were me. Echoes. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Willie came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think I got the wrong time. We'll come back later, let's go and have a wee play, come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big, tall tower. Up there is the castle tower. Yeah, soldiers used to be up there. That tower's for soldiers. 
said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come and see the castle? Uh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then. Thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty. Just walls. It smelt funny. And this is... I see the fireplace. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. I liked the little friendly room. Yeah. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? Said Timmy. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh. I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey, Tig. New things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. Strange smells, strange rooms, and strange sounds. Hey Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! Woo! So go for it, Tig. There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared. Just silly echoes. Come on. I wanted to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. There were no woos. So me and Sammy had fun making woos. We made lots of other echo sounds. Hello! Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Wooly, ah! he was a scaredy woo. It's only a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were here. The fun fair. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a fun fair. Wooly came too. Inside it was very, very big. Inside it was very, very noisy. I've never been to a fun fair before. Angel liked the fun fair. Angel was excited. Light flash! Roundabouts went round and round. Chairs flew up in the air. People were bounced up and down. Noises came from everywhere. Right, girls, what ride do you want going first? Angel wanted to ride on everything. 
Who wants to go on the alligators? Me, shouted Angel. Mummy took Angel on the alligator. I watched with Daddy. The alligator whooshed and whooshed. Angel squealed. Angel loved the alligator. It was very, very noisy. Who was riding the Dodgems? said Mummy. Me, shouted Angel. I didn't want to ride in the Dodgems. They were too noisy. Mummy took Angel on the Dodgems. The music went boom, boom, boom. The Dodgems bumped and bashed. I didn't like the Dodgems. Angel loved the Dodgems. Angel wanted to go on the teacups next. You want to go home, Tig? I know. Let's go and wait in the cafe for Mum and Angel. Daddy took me to a little cafe. There's your juice, Tig. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, Funfairs are noisy. Funfairs worry me too. I never know where the noises are coming from. Music, squeals, whizzing and whirls. I never know which way to look next. Hey, Tig, fun fairs are fun places and you can have fun here too. I like to know where all the different noises are coming from. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> look, that's the rock and roll music from the Dodgems. Wee, woohoo! from the flying chairs. Honk, honk, ting, ting, dilly, dip, beep, bop, beep, bop, zob, zob, ding, ding, wee, wee. That's the little roundabout. <laughs> the glittery, clattery noises is the cup and saucer. Hey, Angel's having fun. That dancing music is from... The carousel roundabout with the horses. So now you know where the noises come from. Have fun. What's first? Doof, doof, honk, honk, diddly ding, woo, woo. Now I knew what all the noises were, I want to have fun. Can I go on the roundabout, Daddy? Honk, honk. I went on the honk, honk roundabout with Angel. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. We went on lots more rides, but best of all was the carousel. When the man saw Wooly, he said, Oh! He's only my toy spider, I said. And off we went. I like riding on the carousel. I like the fun fair. I love Wooly. We've been guessing we will be Fussy Morning, Tig Daddy, where's Mummy? When I was little, my Mummy went away to look after Grandad I'm here to look after you and Wooly, said Daddy Let's get you dressed Daddy just dumped my clothes on the bed. I like my clothes laid out like a scarecrow. I said, Let's get you dressed. When I got dressed, Daddy got it all wrong. Trousers? Daddy forgot my socks. Went on before my trousers. I got socks on first. I had to get dressed all over again. Arms, rid of those arms. Hey. And there's Willie. Come on, let's go through and have some breakfast. Come on, and get your breakfast. At breakfast, Daddy poured my oaty flakes into a mountain. Daddy, I don't want to add a mountain flat. All right, well you... I like my oaty flakes poured flat. Right, take here's your milk. Then Daddy poured milk from the edges instead of the middle. Daddy, not from the sides in the middle. Well, can you make a hole for it? Daddy gave me the wrong spoon. Daddy, I want my special spoon. Oh, okay. Daddy's rubbish, isn't he? You get stuck in. After breakfast, Daddy wanted to play with my bricks. I didn't 
didn't like Daddy playing with my bricks. Daddy, that's the way you're to do it. Is that the way you're meant to do it? You got all the colours and shapes the wrong way round. Little house. After a big bit, Daddy said, Come on, Tig, we're going indoor sledging. Do some indoor sledging? Yay! Look, I've got your snowsuit and I've got your wellies. Come on then. Daddy had my waterproofs and my Wellington. When we arrived at the sledging, I was hungry, so Daddy took me for some lunch. I didn't like my lunch. My peas were next to my fish and not by my potatoes. I just ate the potatoes. The indoor sledging was inside. Daddy wanted me to put on my waterproofs. We need to get changed. No, I said. I wear my waterproofs outside, not inside. We can't go sledging then, said Daddy. Everything was wrong today. Nothing was just how I like it. Hey Tig, always doing things in exactly the same way makes you feel safe and happy. But no one can know exactly how you like things to be done because everyone is different. Some things are important to one person, but not to another. No need to be fussy. Which sock goes on first, or where the peas go on your plate, doesn't matter. Putting on your waterproofs inside for a change won't spoil your day. Whee! It'll mean you can go inside sledging! <coughs> go for it, Tig! Stop fussing and have fun! Yes, I thought. There's no fun fussing. Daddy, can I put my wet? I like doing things differently today with my daddy. What do we say? One, two, three, let go! Whoa. We had fun inside, indoor sledging in my waterproofs. When a lady saw Willie on my sledge, she nearly fell over. I don't like being fussy. I like having fun with everyone. And I love Willie. We've been scared since we were here. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willie came too. Hello there. Uh, we had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Oh, okay. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woohoo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Hello oh, there, tickets please. Tickets please, said the man. <laughs> Through the country. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Under the bridge. Chuff, chuff, chuff. I love the train. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. <gasps> Up the hill we chuffed. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to 
want to go home? Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops. Daddy's in a tea stick. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig. When you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at daddy's pictures. Oops. And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey, and there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. We were happy again. Oh, there, do you have tickets? I showed Willie to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? It's only my toy spider, I said. I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willie. And Duncan had a farm. He had a combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had a farm too. Duncan's daddy had a big, big combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had fields that grew things that were harvested by the combine harvester. One day, we went to Duncan's farm for harvest supper. Daddy said harvest supper was a party. Say yippee for all the things that grew in the farm. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! The harvest supper day was the last day of the harvest and the last day for the combine harvester. Willie came too. Mummy said that all the things for the supper were growing on the farm. Look, Tig, all the food here for the harvest supper has been grown on the farm. So Wheat for the bread. And apples for the apple juice. Apple for the juice. Right, Tig, why don't you go upstairs and play with Duncan and I'll give Rebecca a hand. Good girl. Yes. Duncan was playing on his little farm. I drove the tractor. I collected the hay bales. Deep break for the farmers. Then Duncan's mummy gave us juice and Oaty flapjacks. Those are Oaty flapjacks and guess what? The oats are grown here on the farm. Mummy said the Oaty flapjacks were grown on the farm too. The Oaty flapjacks were so good. I wanted to see them harvested. Outside, Duncan's daddy drove off on his big, big combine harvester. Come on, said Mummy. Harvest time. I wanted to see the Oaty Flapjacks. I was so excited. Daddy wanted to make a scarecrow. We watched as Duncan's daddy drove the big, big combine harvester. But I couldn't see any Oaty Flapjacks. We watched as the combine emptied grain, but I couldn't see any Oaty Flapjacks. We watched as straw came out of the back, but I couldn't see any Oaty Flapjacks. 
Okay, time to make a scarecrow, said Daddy. Where are the Oaty Flapjacks? Where are the Oaty Flapjacks? In the kitchen, said Mummy. They, they grow in the fields. No, just the oats for the Oaty Flapjacks grow in the fields. No Oaty Flapjacks. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when you expect to see something and then you don't. No Oaty Flapjacks. Especially if they're Oaty Flapjacks. But sometimes, when we don't quite understand, things can get mixed up. But Mummy said, Willie. Mummy said that oats grew in the field, not that Oaty Flapjacks grew in the field. Oaty Flapjacks don't grow. Oaty Flapjacks are made. Oaty Flapjacks are made from the oats that grow. What we can see is the oats that grow being harvested. That's the fun. The oat grains poured into the trailer. And then we have the leftover straw dropped out of the combine harvester to make the scarecrow. <laughs> so go for it, Tig. Have some harvest fun. Make a scarecrow. Yes, I thought. I'm going to have some harvest fun now. I'm going to help make the scarecrow. We all collected the leftover straw from the combine harvester. We had fun stuffing old clothes. We tied the stuffed clothes to a pole. We filled an old pillowcase with straw too. Yeah. There we go. Right, let's have a wee look. Duncan's mummy drew eyes. I drew a mouse. That's excellent. That's brilliant. We carried the scarecrow back to the farm. We were having the harvest supper in a shed. Daddy popped the scarecrow inside. My hat. Lots of people came to the harvest supper. The giggly lady brought some eggs. Everyone brought something. Vegetables, honey, sunflowers, pictures. My friend Louise brought a picture of a sandcastle. Mummy pinned it up next to my picture of the sea. Duncan's mummy gave us all a corn dolly made of straw. I had one and Louise had one. Duncan's daddy finished harvesting. Everything had been harvested. Now we could have our harvest supper. I told Louise that the harvest supper was all grown on the farm. Everything that we're eating is grown on the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can I propose a toast to the farmer Duncan and to the harvest? The, the harvest. harvest! After supper, it was time to take our scarecrow to the fields. When I looked for my corn dolly, Louise had taken it. Louise, this is my corn dolly. That is yours. Yours, mine. The one nearest to my bread, that's Louise. Lu Louise, that's my corn dolly. No, it isn't, it's mine. Louise had taken my corn dolly. No, but isn't that your one? No, that's Louise's. But they're exactly the same. No, no, no. It's just a little thing. Don't worry about it. Hey, Tig, when you know you're right, it's not fair that someone else thinks you're wrong. Louise has my corn dolly. But Louise is quite sure she's right too. Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, who can say? Just everyone looks in different ways. Wee! One way you'll see the darkness, one way you'll see the light. Depends which way you're looking, if it's sunrise or the night. One way you'll see the waves break, one way you'll see the sand. Depends which way you're looking, if you're by the sea or land. Hey, stop spoiling all the fun and messing up the day. What matters most is getting on and joining. Way you're looking if it's raining or it's fine. One way you'll see the 
making up the day. What matters most is getting on and joining in the play. There's right and wrong and wrong and right and what will be will be. Now no more angry feelings, let's agree to disagree. Yeehaw! Yes, I thought. I thought one thing and Louise thought another. But I didn't want to mess up the day. I wanted to join in the fun. Daddy put up the new scarecrow in a field. The scarecrow might frighten crows, but the scarecrow seemed scared of Wooly. It's only a toy spider. Then we all danced. Yeah! Harvest Day and Harvest Supper. I like my corn dolly and I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were three. Splash! When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right, let's go and get changed. I know, why don't I take Wooly? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Wooly to watch. Daddy took me into our big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, Tig. Let's go to the pool. Who's excited? What's that? You go and have a shower. We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. I squealed. The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever and nearly out of the window. Wooly and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Wooly. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. A lady splashed with her legs. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and sit on the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Mummy said, why don't I take Teg to the little pool? Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Teg, look. There, Teg. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing, I said. Hey, Teg, a swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows! Hey, Tig, now you can kneel in the water. It's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth, spit it out. Well done, Tig. You found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Way! Bounce the ball up and down as hard as you can and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know, water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. Oh. I 
like the big pool. I like the splashing. I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man saw Willy. It's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. We've been together since we were me. Fireworks. When I was little, I went to watch fireworks. We went to Timmy's house. Wooly came too. Timmy had a garden. At the end of Timmy's garden was a park. <laughs> We're going to watch the fireworks in the park. I should really be doing the fireworks. Timmy was very excited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. Timmy had animal masks. He ran around whipping. I had a cat mask. I went meow. I like playing at Timmy's. <laughs> Mummy was excited about the fireworks. <gasps> I think everyone's getting a little overexcited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited about the fireworks. But I like playing at Timmy's. We did painting. We painted firework pictures with big bangs and whooshes. I like the firework pictures, but I didn't like fireworks. Go! We played funny games. We played blow the grapes. Go take, go take. Over your hands. Take. We played bite the jammy scone. Try, that's the game. Reasons to eat them. We played pop the raisin bag. The bag went bang. It's like a firework. I didn't like fireworks, but I like eating the raisins. The fireworks didn't start until it was dark. When we waited for the dark, Daddy told us a story. Daddy told the story of the three bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Bernard. Daddy look! Oh. Daddy got the story of the three bears all wrong. And she started to eat the bears Cabbage soup. Porridge. Por oh, right, porridge, right. When the three bears came back in, they caught Goldilocks and she was watching the television. She was sleeping in the three bears' bed. Oh, is that what it was? Right. Silly I'm daddy. I know, dad's really silly, isn't he? Then it was dark. Time for the fireworks, said mummy. I want to play hide and seek. I said, and hid under the table. Everyone was excited about the fireworks. Come on, Tig. You make us all late. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. I was scared of fireworks. Hey, Tig. Just because everyone else isn't scared of fireworks doesn't mean that you can't be scared. Fireworks scare me. The bangs, the flashes and the whizzies. Fireworks scare lots of animals. Dogs and cats hate fireworks. So when the fireworks start, the best place for animals is indoors. So maybe when the fireworks start, the best place for you and me is indoors too. Then the fireworks won't seem quite so scary and then we can look after each other. So go for it, Tig. Tell everyone that you don't want to watch the fireworks outside. It's too scary. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Mummy and Daddy and Timmy that I don't like fireworks. Don't worry, Tig. No worries, said Timmy. We can watch from the window. So we did, and I cuddled Willie. Watching the fireworks from inside was fun. The fireworks whizzed and whooshed and painted the sky. When my toy spider heard a big bang, he jumped. It's only a firework, Willy, I said. I like fireworks and I love Willie. <laughs> <laughs>